Continue to follow the case of a BPD officer who reportedly crashed his brand new patrol car while allegedly on a joyride. 23 ABC's Chris Arnellis broke this story on Monday. He joins us now from our newsroom with the latest on this investigation. Chris? But police are not being very forthcoming about the case. They're refusing to tell us anything, including the name of the officer or how much the car cost. They say they can't comment because they are conducting an internal investigation. 23 ABC story on this cop car and how it was wrecked triggered a lot of comments on our Facebook page. Most wanted to know if the officer would face any punishment and who was going to pay for the car. But 23 ABC isn't getting a lot of answers from police. So we spoke to taxpayer advocate Michael Turnipseed. That part I don't know. I don't know why he was down an uncompleted road. But if there's personal issues, uh, I'm sure the city will make handle it the appropriate way. It all started Saturday afternoon. Witnesses tell 23 ABC News a Bakersfield police officer crashed his brand new patrol car on the unfinished Westside Parkway. Witnesses say the officer said he had taken the car out to see how fast it would go. He hit an unfinished section of pavement and crashed. If he was just trying to see how fast the car would go, I would think there's a portion of a personal liability to that. Witnesses say the officer was intimidating and ordered everyone to erase their cell phone pictures and said, quote, this never happened. The cars reportedly cost $23,000 a piece, and law enforcement sources say it likely had another $10,000 worth of modifications. That means local taxpayers could be out about $30,000. We have made repeated requests to police for information and left a message for the chief of police. The spokesperson says he can't comment because they are investigating, and the chief hasn't returned our message. I would think the police chief would have the ultimate say. So he'll have to determine what punishment he wants to extract, if any. Sources inside the department say the cop that crashed is a longtime officer in the patrol division and that he was on duty at the time of the crash. We asked if a proper police report was filed. 23ABC also asked who will pay for the car. The city is self-insured up to $1 million, but it's not clear if it will cover possible acts of recklessness. When the decision is made, I am sure it will be made public. I don't think there's going to be any cover up over this. It's very visible. 23 ABC also called the city manager's office and several city council members about the situation. None of them would answer our questions. Now we will continue to keep searching for answers and let you know what we find out. Reporting live in the newsroom, Chris Ornellis, 23 ABC.